Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining me for a jewelry jar, jewelry bag, unjarring, unbagging, whatever you want to call it. This is a big, big bag with a big price tag as well. This one was bought by my husband this morning. He went and looked for some for me. And uh, he said they didn't have any, but they told him to come back and they'd fix him up some. So that was really nice of the lady. I think it's a new manager because they never did that for me. But anyway, let's get started. It does weigh, I didn't weigh it, but I'm approximating over seven pounds because I just weighed one that I'm going to bring to auction and um, it weighed six. I went ahead and rounded it to seven pounds. And this one may be slightly heavier and this one is super topped to the top. So we're going to open it up and see what is in it. And I think I'm going to start from the top as well. I'm going to put a lot of things in here. So if you hear any banging and, you know, noises, it's because I'm going to try to put it away in here so I don't get it all mixed up. Because many times people ask me about things and feel free to ask me about anything you see in a haul. And then if it's like an older video, like maybe two weeks, I don't even know where that piece went. I, I lock things up. I sell things, I list things, things get sold. So that's why I'm going to try to, like each little bag that I open, I'm going to try to organize it by putting it here first for at least a week. <laughs> and then, you know, put things in other places. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, I found one of these guys for only $2 last night. And uh, it's the Lane. And it's very interesting because I've got a few of these. And I think I still have the one that I got when I graduated high school. But it usually had the name of the jewelry, I mean of the furniture place, but this one just says Lane. So cute. And it seems a little bit lighter color. Anyway, the guy at this thrift store recognized me the other night. He kind of acted funny though. <laughs> he says, he says, do you have a YouTube channel? And I said, no, I don't think so. He says, yes, you do. <laughs> And then there was another little, little, yeah, they were both young, young girl with him and they were wor working there and she's, and I said, why do you watch my channel? And he says, um, uh, I wouldn't say that or something like that. I don't know how he said it. He was just really strange about it. And then she says, oh, you watch her channel. And then my husband was with me and my husband is like my biggest cheerleader. Thank goodness. He says, everybody does. <laughs> but I was like, yeah, right. It was kind of awkward, kind of funny. But that was a different thrift store. That's not where I got this. I got this at another store. And I just recorded some videos, guys, with some of these jars as well. Because many people do like them recorded for different reasons. And so look for that to go up probably, let me see, tomorrow's Sunday. It'll probably go up Monday. Because tomorrow I'm actually going to go have breakfast with my grandson. And I'm going to go take advantage of my 50 off coupon. And I may do a ride-along tomorrow, so watch that as well. I call them ride along. Some people call them thrift with me's. They change. You know how it is. People change titles as things move along on YouTube. But I do want to thank you for joining me, spending a little time with me. And I'm also going to have my auction at 5 p.m. Central over on Facebook. All the information is usually in my description. Uh, this is so tight, I'm afraid I'm going to cut a chain here, so that's why I'm taking forever. Look, a bee just popped out. Uh, I'm going to have an auction today at 5 p.m. Central, so if you're not a member, it's very easy to become one. All you have to do is agree to the terms. It's a free, free group, no charge at all or anything like that, but I do like for, oops, I do like for it to be kind of a close-knit group that, uh, you know, we can avoid trolls and all that stuff that people put up with here on YouTube. And I'll be tonight. So anyway, I hope I finished a sentence, guys. Sometimes I just ramble. Oh, wow. I want it to tear it right here. Someone did advise me about cutting it from the top and then just pulling from there instead of dumping it all. And she said the tangles were less so. And I do agree now because we've been doing it like that. I did my recorded one like that too, and I only ran into one big knot. All right, so I'm going to put it in the corner over here, and hopefully there's enough lighting here. Let me bring some of the lights over here, and we can see fairly well. Anyway, I don't know if I told you the price. $65 is what my husband paid for this bag. He also bought me a $75 one and a... 
think 59. They went up in increments of 10 for some reason. I don't know. And uh, so hopefully it's worth it. There's usually a good many things that are found in these bags. So we shall see. This is a nice pair of earrings. Missing some coins, but so cute. We'll put the earrings on the side and then see if we find some matches to them. And let me say hello to a couple of people that popped in. Hey, Swamp Picker, how are you? Thank you, thank you so much for joining us. Shirley, Susanna, Julie, and Marge, as well as Becky. Sh let me see. Lady Chicago Poo. Chicago Poo, right? Cute name. Julie, Yvonne, and Ansley at Mother's Mustache. Susanna, Debbie. Oh, those little loose beads will start going everywhere. Pamela Carter as well. Moon Goddess Treasures. Oh, good, good. And Michelle, oh, Muddy Loose. Thank you again, Robin. What is this? Oh my gosh. Look at this piece of shell, guys. Raven at Treasury Chest. This is so cool. It's got a hole. Oh, wow. I like it on this side. I almost like it just to hold little pieces. Those are little pearls. Wow, look at that. Those are embedded pearls. I, I, I don't know. That's awesome. Mm, mm, mm. That is cute. Oh, I love it. Really cool. Look at that. Doesn't that just look pretty on your dresser with a couple of rings in it or something? Or your little teeny tiny diamond studs that I don't have? Oh, look at this. Oh, this is cool. I love these. Every time I go to the post office, I am so jealous of the postal workers because they always have the coolest, what do they call it, flair on their lanyards. And look, here's one. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, they have Elvis and they have all these wonderful collectible stamps in, um, you know, pinback form. This is from uh, Love Story. Well, actually, this was a famous artist, right, who did this piece. I think it was a sculpture. And then it just took off. It was on everything. It was on Eric Siegel's famous novel turned movie, so forth and so on. I love that. It was packaged. New and packaged. Made in Taiwan. That's vintage. That is cool. Oh, this is cute. Little key ring. Hey, Perla. I'm glad you're here. Cassandra as well as Jillian. This is a nice stretch. Really nice and taut, too. I just found this huge ring in that other bag that you're going to see on Monday. <laughs> that is the bag from the latest ride along that I did where we were looking at the jewelry and that lady was grabbing at the jewelry while I was looking at it and I had waited in line to actually see it. Oh my gosh, this is cute. I think this is kind of a slave looking bracelet, guys. I don't know if it's supposed to hang that way or maybe at one time it had something attached to it or does this go on the toes? No, I don't know. That's interesting. Because I know they make things like that for your... I know, right, Carla? It was, in... it was incredible. Now, luckily, she didn't get, uh, you know, like the other lady where it was... She wanted it really... She wanted to wrestle with me. <laughs> this lady just got kind of smart about it. And she says, are you going to buy them all? I was like, yeah, pretty much. And I did. I bet I think I only left like two things on that rack. I bought pretty much everything because that rack was actually all sterling. And usually at, at that particular store, when they pull out the sterling rack, they're supposed to stand right there with you. They call someone to stand with you. They don't allow you to just look at the sterling all, you know, free for all. That's a little charm that goes somewhere. <laughs> Oh, stop. Stop, Miss Casserole. You're silly. <laughs> well, we didn't really fight. She she won because I, I walked away. That other lady. This time I won. Because <laughs> I managed to, you know, managed to stave her off. This is cute. The little masks. I think they were earrings at one time, but they broke. So that will go in a crafter lot. Oh, this is broken. What a shame. I have found so many of these, and this is the first one I find that's broken. What a shame. And these kind of, I don't really like when they do this kind of a, well, no, this one's not too bad. This one has a hole. There are some that are glued, and they don't last. 
I'm going to throw that away. I don't like broken things. <laughs> Stop. You're so silly. No, no, no. I'm not strong. I'm actually weak. I actually posted a picture in my personal Facebook of, um, I don't know if you guys, and we're not getting political or anything here, guys, but Mrs. Biden had to protect her husband from this protester that jumped up on the stage and they have her, it went viral because they have her in a perfect stance that they even taught me, they analyzed it about how she was standing with her feet behind her, her legs behind her. So she had this perfect position to push the protester out of the way. And, and she did, she pushed him out of the, she pushed her out of the way. This is cute. And I, th I put in my little caption where I posted, I said, I would have been cowering in the corner. I, you know, that's quick thinking. She said something about, oh, it's the Philly girl in me. <laughs> so I love that. I love people that are quick on their feet. I don't think I would be. I don't know. But I do. we'll have to tell stories about that next time, guys. What things that we've done. I love this. This is cool. That is really pretty. I like the color. It's not, you know, it's, I think it's vintage because it looks like it's well made. So it's got a nice color. Hey, Anita, how are you? And, ooh, cute. Look at this earring, guys. It's got like a little bit of a crystal or something on there. That's a nice piece. It doesn't look like it, I mean, it could be gold filled. But it's a nice piece, and it's a little dangle there. I think they may have just kind of kind of uh, rigged it that way because it's not facing the right way. So we'll have to take a good look at that. Uh, let me see what we have here. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Look at this, guys. This is turquoise. Let's just please, please, please have the match. This is turquoise, guys. Look at that Native American piece. That is awesome. Oh, even like that, I'll wear it as a ring. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he wasn't joking. It's a good one. It's a good one so far with one darn earring. Oh, I am so excited. Let me look with the loop, guys. That is beautiful Native American there. Wowzy. Totally authentic. Love the patina on it too and it is simply marked 925 with a 925 back as well oh my gosh i'm gonna just slip that on like a ring for right now hopefully we'll find the other one i'm so excited oh, we have some jewelry for girls for their hair and what else oh i was going to show you this when i saw that native piece pop out at me this is cute. Little statement piece. Hi, Cindy Dodds. How are you? Brat Cat, thanks for being here. Look at this bracelet. That's awesome. Yeah, it's really nice. I'm sure it's um, a faux piece, but it is nice. I'm trying to see if it unscrews. Sometimes these unscrew. I sold one the other day that unscrewed. And I don't believe this is sterling. It looks just like, um, yeah, it's just a little nice imitation, but so pretty. Isn't that cute? I like it. And it's got very little wear on it. Got some encrusted pavé there. Okay. Got a little stretch bracelet. These look like uh, genuine stones too, guys. They kind of look like they're um, some kind of natural stone on that. That's pretty. Very, very nice. And we have some more shells. Saving these in another lot. Miss, uh, Miss Kathy's making chandeliers or something out of them, so I'm going to start saving them for her. That's cute. Okay. What else is here? Oh, a pretty watch. That's a nice one. Very nice. Fossil. Pretty. Oh, I love the bracelet watches. This one looks like it was adjusted to fit someone with a small wrist. Oh, it's closed. It very likely will fit seven, seven and a half wrist. It's a cute one. 
Let me open my box. I'm not even putting things in there like I said I was. All right, we got some in very inexpensive bangles here. These are nice. These actually have rhinestones on them, and this one says something that I can't read. It's a religious quote there. Very nice. Okay, put these aside here. Oh, I'm going to be so disappointed with one earring. But uh, I think I could send it. No, see, the thing is, when they're inlay like that, you can't really bend them or size them or anything. They'll pop right out. This is a nice bracelet. But you never know. Maybe somebody will want one earring. Another earring. Lots of broken beads here. Hi, Debbie. How are you? Oh, that's a cute earring. It's got kind of a black diamond look to it. That's pretty. Mm, these look like Brighton. Let's see what this is. Let me open it up. It's just a little... Yeah, I think it might be Brighton. See the little hearts in the back? Hey, Jude, how are you? I'm glad you're here. Look at that. That's pretty. But, all right, I'm going to try to put the... It's hard for me to just dismiss all of these um, earrings, guys. That's a toe ring. It says best on it. Here's a little sterling number. This is pretty. Turquoise, tiny little thing. I'll have to straighten that with a mandrel, but that's definitely a little Native American piece. Oh, that is so cute. It is popped on one end there. See that? But I can straighten that out a little bit. That is so cute. That's a perfect little midway ring. See, I like when they're flat. I don't like... I don't wear my mid rings unless they're flat. I don't really like them to protrude too much, but that's pretty cute. And what is this? Ooh, pink quartz earrings. And these are genuine quartz. Those are pretty. Again, one, so let's not get excited. Little ghetto fab here. Nice. Oh, these are cute too. Silver. Not real silver, faux. These look like rosary beads. This is a pretty piece, a little boho piece. I like this. Very cool. Okay. Again, there's quite a few loose beads here, guys. I'm going to have to gather those over there. And this is so cute. This looks like it was possibly gold-filled. It's just made so nicely. It's got little tiny charms, heart, cross. It's bent up as well, though. And then we got a little, a little charm here, a little angel. More broken pieces. Let me put those over there. Lots of broken pieces, too. Here's a pretty one. Another boho piece. Pretty, though. Very nice. And Aren't they pretty? They are. I, I call it that because that's what Beyonce called it when she came. I think um, I think that was before she married, and she was with her other group, and uh, they went to the flea market, and she said she was looking for ghetto fab, oversized, much bigger than this hoops, and I think they found them. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is pretty. I don't know if this is bone or what. I, I'm assuming it's probably bone. Very pretty beads on that. The carving is amazing. I like it. It's not overdone. Some of these, I mean, I don't say that negatively because people wear what they want to wear. But because I've seen people wear huge, huge pieces and they look great and they pair them and they layer them and they look awesome. But this is like a good starter, you know? 
I love it. Yeah, I mean, I just look at them like, I wouldn't be able to, I didn't think that I would wear that, but look at how great it looks on her. Here's a cute man's ring. Guys, this is real jade. Genuine stone, a gentleman's ring. It's a vintage one. See how they used to do so much with the uh, vintage stuff? They put it on gold filled or even just gold tone. That's awesome. That's a pretty gentleman's ring. Or a thumb ring. <laughs> That's a beautiful piece of jade. I love to have Jay just to examine it, right? Yeah, still tagged, guys. That's amazing. Maybe it's gold fill. Let me see if I see anything inside of it. I don't see a stamp. It's got that nugget look. What a gorgeous shade of Jay, too. Okay, I think I see something on this side. No, it's just the tag again. No, it is tagged. Okay, it says best. I mean, it is marked. It looks like it says best something. 18 karat gold. And then I, I guess it means electroplated. So it's got another long, a very long word right next to the 18 karat gold. So, so cool. Vintage gentleman's ring. I don't think my husband wears rings like that. He wears more like big skulls and things. So we'd have to list that. That's awesome, though. But I don't know. Watch him come in here and say, where's that ring? <laughs> okay, this is a pretty bracelet. Looks like a vintage piece, too. Rhinestones. Are they green? They're No, they're kind of a clear. Yeah, that's cool. Very nice. Oh, cloisonne earrings more broken pieces let me get those over there more pieces of earrings fish stones this bag is huge guys i hope i finish before five <laughs> and let me know how this stream looks i've been getting some trouble oh here's a sterling piece i can tell from here it's sterling is it james avery oh my gosh it's james avery look at it Look at it. I'm so excited. After missing out on that wonderful piece last night, Miss Jade. Oh, it's a good compensation. Compensation? <laughs> I mean, uh, consolation. <laughs> good consolation prize. I was at an auction last night and lost out on a beautiful James Avery. But this is James Avery. How sweet. And it is tangled with hair and rubber and everything in there. Oh, my gosh. Yes. Well, that paid for the bag right there, guys. This is a $69 bag, $70 bag. That's a $70 necklace, maybe more if it's retired. I haven't researched. Here's some liquid silver, too. Oh, good, good. How are you, Miss Walta? Spring still in the air over there? Oh, my gosh, this is so stuck. And that's something else. That's not even the James Avery. Because the James Avery is on an attached chain. Another piece of something. Oh, my gosh. Goodness gracious. Pearls. These all actually look like real pearls. There's a cage pearl in there, too. So much in here, guys. But I spotted that one quick. I spotted that James Avery. It's got its own aesthetic. Not hard to see it. It's so dainty and sweet. Okay, got pearls out of there. Look at that. That is a huge knot, guys. Let me pull you back a little bit. Oh, my gosh. Then there's a snake chain in here. No wonder they just dumped it in there. Look at this knot. I was telling my husband, I can't believe they actually offered to make you a bag. They, they, they never tell me that. Well, a few times they have, but not at that one. But another one they did. I think a lot of them make them on weekends, so you got to go early on the weekend or late on Friday night because they get them out and ready. All right, what is this? This is just a silver tone here on this one. This is a huge knot, guys, and it looks so pretty. There it goes, there it goes. But I don't think I'm going to be able to get it out right now, but it looks like it's intact. 
completely. There's the jump ring there. There's the jump ring for the James Avery. It is such a delicate piece. Let me see what the mark is. It is the candle. Yeah, J. A. Stir and the candelabra. And it is a, um, a beautiful heart with um, flowers. And actually, one of my teacher friends, she's a total addict like I am of James Avery. And we were talking about a student I was, you know, and I tell her, you know what? I cannot even concentrate on what I'm talking about with you because I'm looking at all your vintage James Avery. And she's like, oh, da, 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 da. And we start talking. And then she says, I'm actually looking for a band that has flowers and hearts. She said, it's a plain band. It's retired. Please keep an eye out for it because, you know, she knows I sell on eBay and such. And I said, okay, I will. And look, this one has flowers and hearts. Maybe she'll like that too. I don't know. But I'm not going to waste any more time looking on here, guys. This is going to take way too long to untangle. But it is definitely intact. The jump, the jump ring is there. It's in this knot in here. Along with some liquid silver with these pearls coming off of something. And then a caged pearl in here. It's probably sterling too. And definitely a genuine pearl. It is marked. And that's on a, on a nice chain too. I'm going to have to go call him right now to take this out. And uh, yeah. This, this caged one is nice too. Intact. Very nice. What is that? Because I want to see what else is in here. I'm already so excited about this. Look, it looks like they tried to get these chains to not get knotted. But it didn't work. Look at this pretty gold one too. That's really pretty. That's just a gold tone, but that's a pretty pendant too. All right, I'm going to go take this to him because we need to save the James Avery. He's so sweet. Yes, most definitely, but it is huge. It will be here for two hours. And look, this one's broken. This is a pretty bracelet, and it's coming out of there. So It's all in here, guys. At least another sterling piece is in there as well. But yeah, that James Avery just paid for the bag for sure. Nice. Oh my goodness. Let's see what else is here. This is pretty adventuring. Some shell. Super cool. And here's another sterling piece. This one says, I love dance. I think it's sterling. It looks like it. Let me see where it says in the back. Hi, Kathleen. How are you? I'm so glad you're here. All right, this one does say 925 as well. And this one says IJS or J, JM. This one has a mark too in the back. And I guess it's some kind of a, it almost looks like it's a dangle charm. You can put the chain, th the chain through the heart there. So that's nice. Put that over there. These are real pearls here, guys, the dyed pearls. Pretty. And uh, looks like a coral piece here. Oh gosh, now if I could just find that Native American earring, it will be nice. Got some other things there, just little bits and pieces of stuff. Let's see what else comes out of here. Oh wow, look at this huge yellow. Oh, sorry about that. I had to make room to pull this out and knock you guys out. So, wow, this is long and lots of strands. Incredible piece. Big tangle too. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. That's a big tangle too, but you get it. There it goes, there it comes. And I was just talking about yellow jewelry from the other bag I opened and I recorded and I'll upload that one in a couple of days, probably Monday, because some pretty yellow pieces came out of there. That's interesting. Hey, Fairy Vixen, how are you? That's a nice piece. Okay, and this is a snake. Looks like silver tone. Linda, how are you? Glad you're here. Yeah, it's a little snake. It's nice and heavy. And, uh, aw, 
This was a cute little crafter piece with some native looking people there. Nice pearls again, mother pearl shelling. Did y'all see this? Look at that. It's got pearls in there. It's so cute. That is so interesting. All right, these are definitely coral pieces popping out of there. I'll have to start a beadlock for that. A lot of broken pieces in here. They definitely scooped it up. Here's a little chain that says something. Oh, it looks like a Kendra. But I don't know. Looks like Kendra's signature there. Wait a second, that's the gold part. And then there's a gold chain in there too. Does that say Kendra Scott? I think it does. It does indeed, Kendra. Very cool. And this is a pretty one. Nice hot pink. Very nice. Oh my, I know, I know, but I'm hoping I find it. <laughs> I'm hoping it comes in here. Oh. And that, But there's three bags. He got me three bags today, so we can always hope, right? Hope springs eternal. Here's a little vintage looking piece. And there's some pearls with a nice go, uh, purple accent bead as well. Oh, I like that. That's an amethyst bead there, guys. That's super. I like that. That's pretty. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. I mean, Glenn, I'm sorry. Appreciate that. What is this? Orgive? Forgive. Forgive. That's nice. That's a nice heavy piece of something. And it looks like a kind of a abstract looking heart. Heavy chain. It looks like an eternity chain. No, nope. I don't see any kind of... This almost looks like a silver... Is it cast, I think? Where's my magnet? Let me get a magnet here. Oh, this magnet is so heavy. Everything sticks to it. I'm so afraid of, of dropping something. Okay, here we go. See the magnet? Gosh. I didn't want to use that. It's so heavy. I'm going to use the little one. Yeah, it sticks. Does this stick too, though? This is the part that reminded me of silver. Yeah, you know how they get like a big piece and then just dunk it? I, forget, I think it's called casting. I'm not sure. Because that's what this looks like to me. Not the chain, because the chain was definitely sticking. But this is not sticking. It says forgive. That's very pretty. I like that. All right, this is fossil. I think this is fossil. Oh, cute. That is cute. Yeah, the pearls and amethyst is nice. And more stretch and little pieces of roping and all of that. Here's another sterling chain. This is a nice one too. It is not broken. That's nice. This has a very nice kind of a diamond cut to it. So that looks really pretty. It's not just a plain box and it has a good length to it. I think it's probably 20. Very nice. Lots of patina on it but that'll clean up nice and shiny. Bangles. The bangles aside too. I love this one. Oh this is cute. The wood does well guys. If you list jewelry do the wood. It really does. It's I mean, I could not believe it, but it sells. I think I sold a couple on Etsy. It's a tiger eye. There's some good beads in here. There really is. But we'll look at that in a little while. Oh, this is a vintage clip. Here's another toe ring. This one's sterling. Yeah, this one is sterling. Uh, lots of little pieces. Oh, this is cute. 
That looks like a genuine pearl. Let me see if there's any marking on that. No, it looks like gold tone. Very pretty. It's like on a leaf or something. And what's this? A little bear? A little ballerina bear? Looks like pewter. Okay, this is interesting. Look at this. This might be one of those interchangeable type of things. And it looks like sterling. That's cool. And then it has a tiger. Yeah, it's marked. It has a tiger eye in there, and you can pop it out and change it up. That is so cool. Have you ever seen anything like that? And look, built-in fidget. You can fidget with it, too. Okay, my big ring is in the way. I know. <laughs> but that's cute. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Okay, I have some, oh, why do they put necklaces on stretch? I don't know. I just don't know why people do that. But that'll go in a crafter lot. Beads. Pearls. Pearls are fun. What is this? N. What is N for? Oh, cute. Look how pretty. Look at that. A, a shoe, some flowers, a little cameo flower there. That is super. That's a nice piece. Heart, everything on that. I love that. Guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you're new. I hope you subscribe today. We're doing jewelry, but we also do ride-along, thrift hauls, thrift with me type of things. Also, I'm doing kind of a heart-to-heart um, -heart on Sundays. Topics that are close to us and what we want to talk about. So join us for that. Be sure and hit the thumbs up and the notification. Here's a snake because you'll be notified when I do a new video if you hit the notification bell. This is definitely silver. This is another good nude ring. It's a coiled snake. Very nice, and it is marked in there. It's kind of thin, not a big, heavy piece, but it's cute. Very cute. There, that's nice. Okay, oh my goodness, I'm afraid to pull all of these broken pieces out they're making a mess but I have to okay there's another fabulous ho hoop and guys it's acrylic so it's not even heavy that's nice gold tone I like that this is cool too but it's tangled up oh nice I think this is I don't know, guys, because some of these look genuine. This is nice. Interesting how they did this coil or memory, whatever you want to call it. They put really an array of colors on that turquoise. I'm going to have to check it really carefully. Some of them do look genuine. The beading right here does not, but the other ones do, because look at that variation in, in matrix and everything. That's awesome. It's a little big on me, but it is such a cool piece. I love the combination of turquoise and black and turquoise and tiger eye. What do you guys think? Awesome. I think awesome. More pieces. Yes, me too. Oh, more pearls. Put it in my little pearl shell. I just want to be looking and playing with that. Just looking at that is fun. Another cute earring. Come on, turquoise. Come on, turquoise meat. Keep your fingers crossed, guys. Okay. And I don't pull too much. I'm going to stay at the top, Thelma. Okay. Here's a cool cross. It looks a little bit like a Sarah Coventry that I have. Kind of reminded me of that, but I think the one I... Oh, it's a rosary. I think the one I had had uh, gold tone. Oh, look at these African trading beads. Those are amazing. Okay. No, it's a rosary style toggle necklace. Very cool. Very cool. With pearls and the rosary type of links for sure. That's nice. That's very nice. 
Yeah, that's pretty, but that is a necklace, not a rosary. Just definitely has that style. Beautiful. Very pretty. Silver tone toggle. Oh, these are nice. Oh, this is a nice piece. These are glass. Look at that beautiful faceted shine coming out of that. That's amazing. I love the color. Cranberry. Just an infinite strand of cranberry beads. Oh, that's so beautiful. That is a pretty, pretty strand of beads. They are knotted in between, too. So I don't know what kind of glass that is or stone or whatever. Cherry. Oh, it's beautiful. Yes. I love that. That is nice. I'll have to wear that soon. That's a pretty piece. Okay, what is this? Getting lots of junk in here, too. But, oh, look at that. This is, what do they call this? Origami thing, right? Or is it only origami by the brand? Origami. This is a nice rose gold color. It does have a toggle. And a, um, what do you call it? A name brand. And it looks like there's some sterling attached to it, too. Okay, let me get this out of here. I hope you guys like to watch people untangle jewelry. <laughs> That's why I'm bringing you some recorded ones, too, because some people don't like to. This is beautiful. What a nice mom gift. It has a heart. It has a cowboy boot, a horseshoe, a, a cross. It says faith on the little copper disc. Mom. Oh, I love that. That is so cute. Then it has some little charms dangling off of it. Now let's see what it says on the tag. That is so cute. I love the rose gold color. It says origami. So this is the original origami then, right? And the other ones are just the origami style. 91 people, 32 thumbs up. Let's go over there for just a minute. Leave the screen for just a minute. And look below it, leave the chat rather, and look below the screen and hit the thumbs up. That'll really help the channel grow, and I do appreciate it so much. All right, it looks like every rhinestone is intact on that, and you can see the back there too. And I believe you open these up, yeah, there it goes. This is nice. You open those up, and you play with them, and you add more, and aren't they sweet? That is awesome, yeah. And it is the origami brand which I, I guess they have that name patented. I'm not sure, or if the style is just called origami, but that's a sweet piece. I like that. Here's some broken beads. Try to get that out of the way. Oh, gosh. See, I saw a copper, but I also saw, oh, another origami. Oh, this one's cute. And this one has like a stainless steel looking thing. Yeah, it says origami owl. You know how sometimes stainless steel pieces will be Hallmark stainless? That's what I thought. And I, I, it may be actually stainless. I don't know. It's on a nice chain too. Oh my gosh. And it's tangled up too. And then there's a J here. And some pearls, so much stuff tangled up. <laughs> and the more I pick up, the more I tangle it up. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Oh gosh, there it goes. I think there. I think I can get this out of here. We have a Chico's piece in there. That the culprit is the Chico's illusion. There it goes. <clears throat> oh my goodness, excuse me. <coughs> Let me take a drink of my coffee. No, I'm not going to take a drink of my coffee because I dropped a chain in it. That's so pretty. Yeah, that's the origami owl. Okay, I've seen a lot of these, but I've never seen any that are hallmarked origami. And I know people call them origami, so that's nice to get the original type, right? 
Very nice. And look at these beads. Oh, here's another origami. These are the cutest charms I've ever seen on these things. Okay, this one. How does this attach? Look at this. This is like a choker style, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Ansley. I will. Let me go grab some water. <laughs> look at that. I'll let y'all look at that one while I'm gone. Let me bring it close up. Let me go do that because I don't want to be coughing. And I can't believe I dropped a chain in my coffee, but I did. <clears throat> I'm live. Grab your phone. Call your brother. Okay, I'm back. I got some Gatorade. <laughs> Thanks for waiting, guys. And um, yeah, this one is cool too. I like this one. I can't tell what the charms are though. Let's see what's in there. We have. Oh, I guess probably an owl. My, what does it say? My lids? My kids. Oh, how cute. It has candy. It has like a little candy. And it looks like one of those little fish, like goldfish. Like the snack. Oh, that one's a pretty one too. Those are so cute. No wonder people go crazy over them. I've never seen them up close like that. Okay. Let me get this this thing out of here because this is cool. Now, I don't know if they call these Mille Fiori. Mille Fiori. I used to call them African trading beads because these were really popular in the 70s. And I had a lot of jewelry made out of this stuff. This is amazing. I've never seen any this big. Or if this has another name. Nowadays, that is super heavy and super nice. Firmo beads, is that what they call them now? Oh, they're pretty. Look at that, there's a little different one there. That's awesome. That's a big one, too. And this is the one that was stuck in here. What does this say? Capture Life's Moments. Okay, I think this goes all together. I like this. It has a J, kind of a wax seal look. And what is this leather thing? Just a cord with a cross. So this one has the little wiry cross. Get that DNA off of there. And um, it's tangled up with some more pearls. Let's see if I can take that out of there. Because if I don't untangle some of these, it just pulls more with it, guys, as I pull them out of the bag. And there's that broken something or the other. I'm going to cut that off because that's getting on my nerves. Okay. Okay. Oh, a J. That's pretty. A little rhinestone J. Very nice. Silver tone chain. And horseshoes and all kinds of things on this one. Whoops. Now the magnet got involved. Take that out of there. And a kitty necklace. Add that to my kitty lot that I 
fixing up and the pearls and the wires and we're going to move this along because this is definitely got some broken pieces that are coming off so let me put this aside to fix and move on and earrings there earrings broken pieces broken pieces and these look sterling and onyx I hope we have a match they are marked at the top Mexico 925 these are pretty so hopefully we're gonna match there got some rabbit earrings interesting let me get these out of the way too lots of broken pieces here's a piece of some kind of natural stone there it is drilled on the side so definitely crafter pieces are popping out what is this now hi joellen how are you little knots and they believe i believe that is leather that's an interesting piece i'm gonna just pull over here what is this made in japan oh my goodness look Something vintage is going to pop out of there, I'll bet. Oh, thank you. Thank you for coming in and joining us. I hope you hit the thumbs up on the way in. And I hope you subscribe. If anybody isn't, I hope you take the time today to do it. This is cute. These are acrylic. The purple ones are. They're tangled with the pearls that are made in Japan. A little strand of pearls there. Yeah, okay, we're still seeing tangles, but they may have been tangled when they got in the bag for sure. Okay, got that one out. And a multi-strand of purple here. Ah, I'm making a mess. Okay, so we have a multi-strand here of purple. These are acrylic. Then we have this silver number that has some... I thought it was shell, but it's not. It's just acrylic. But they're made to look like natural pearls and shells. So that's going on there. I will have to get that fixed and untangled. And here's the little pearls. I don't believe these are genuine. They don't feel like it. But they really are pretty. And they have a vintage tag on them as well. Interesting. What is this? Chico's probably this big cord thing. Chico's does a lot of this big brutalist stuff. This is a nice one. That's a that's real leather on there, guys. Yeah, some people love this big brutalist stuff. It's pretty cool. That magnet got stuck back there. <laughs> These magnets, that's how you lose magnets, too. They stick to your jewelry. Okay, let's see what this is here. Ooh, that's pretty. It's an illusion. Can't believe it didn't cause any problems. Here's a gold one. We had a silver one a minute ago. That's really pretty. Glass. I like that. And uh, some dangle hearts. More pearls. I think these are popped. Definitely. This is. Oh, look. This is like the yellow one. I think this one just got tangled up in here. And those pearls are going to make a mess. I'm going to put them over there. I, no, I think it just got hooked in there. I'm going to cut it. Because it's already broken. And just put it into a crafter bag. Here's some red ones, just like the yellow ones. Very long. Very festive. All acrylic. And a stretch bracelet. Hi, Vanessa. How are you? Pop pearls. Uh, were they real jewelry or for kids? Because I know I have some for kids. Valeria, Valeria. Oh, this has somebody's name on it. 
I guess you could buy them and they'd be with your name. It looks like brass, but it also has a little stamp on the inside. Really, how fun! Okay, it looks like this says Dasko. Yeah, it does say Dasko. It has an eagle mark, Dasko, Mexico. But it looks kind of a uh, kind of like uh, brass, right? That's cool. Valeria. Yeah, that's a pretty name. Stretch guys. So here's another stretch. Is this cats or school or what? Oh, it's school. Cute. Pencils and apples and all that good stuff there. And earrings. Here's the other. Oh, this is an earring that matches that necklace. That's so pretty. Which which one was silver? The school one was not. Here's a pretty heart. This is nice. Silver tone. Heavy too. It's in good condition. Yeah, the, that one for school was not. Oh, look at this big old thing. How cute. This looks like uh, imitation amber. <laughs> it's humongous. That is a statement piece. This is a good crafter piece too. Because it has to be redone. It's it's pretty loose. But those are such interesting pieces. And they look so pretty. Look, they're like lips or something. <gasps> this one's cracked. Pretty colors, though. So I'm going to throw that in the crafter lot, too. And let me see what else we have popping out of here. More broken beads. This is pretty. A little tassel. Some black beads. I'm going to put this in here. This is acrylic. So cool. We're going on an hour. Almost done. Is this acrylic? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Oh my gosh, my little tablecloth has gotten so dirty in this little time that we were together. Let me see what this... This one says... Gore... Corey? Cor what does this say? Forenza? I don't know. Goran. Lauren? I don't know. It's a little gold one. I thought maybe it was gold. Did I find what now, Miss April? Let me see what she asked me. Oh, I found James Avery. Yes, I found James Avery. I found this vintage Native American earring, and I'm hoping to find the other one in this bag or... The other two that my husband bought me today. Here's a cute watch. Very lightweight. Nice. Or maybe it'll pop out here. I'm hoping. Okay, we did get the other one, but it's broken. So that'll have to go in a crafter lot on that silver thing. And this is a pretty earring. Oh, I also found this awesome jade ring. Vintage. And it says genuine stone on it, electroplated in 18 karat or something. We did get the gold. These are cool. These are cool. Yeah, these are still in style. People bring them back just for fun. Yeah, those are cute. Thank you. And a couple of other silver pieces have popped up too. So it's a $65.99 bag. It's turned out pretty good so far. This is a Juicy Couture. That's so cute. It's missing, I think, a stone or two, though. But you know what? You could always remove that heart. And it would still look cute with just the horseshoe and the little juicy sign there. That's cute. That's a nice piece. Yeah, the James Avery is a really nice necklace. I think it's vintage. It's definitely, very likely anyway, a retired piece. So I'm excited about that. This is a lot of little odds and ends popping out, guys. Lots of charms and broken pieces, but uh, they're very interesting. Here's a nice one. It has a mark on it. 
Looks like a vintage piece. Let me bring this over so we can get it to show up. That's pretty. I believe all of these are acrylic, but look how good they work them. They look real. They're so cute. Oh yeah, definitely. Some of these crafter pieces are so amazing. This is Designs by Paula, is what it says. So that's cute. And more broken pieces. This is a nice wood piece, and I think I found... Yeah, this one's broken too. I'll have to put that in a crafter lot because I remember seeing some of the uh, beads pop out. Interesting beads popping out of here though. Very nice. And this one, I think I had a match to this one somewhere. I saw it pop out earlier. And look at this, April. Isn't this the sweetest thing ever? It's like, well, there was a couple of these. It's like a little shell with the embedded pearls. How awesome is that? And it has a, it already has something drilled there. I'd definitely hang it like that. <laughs> but I just want to play with it. I think it's so cute. Here's another pearl. Mother pearl. That one's dyed. Lots of these little pieces popped out. And another earring. This is nice. Is this two pieces or one long? Because sometimes they put the the bracelet attached to it and you can't quite tell. Ooh, this is nice. It's a really long piece with a toggle. Did you already take a quick uh, power nap? I do power naps too, 10 minutes, and then sometimes I get up before the 10 minutes, I'm like, oh my goodness, I feel refreshed already, honestly. But if you go longer than that, it makes you tired. That toggle almost looks like sterling. Look at that, guys. Ah, that's cute. Those are glass, AB stones. Nice piece, very nice piece. More real pearls, all kinds of stuff popping out of these. And of course, I'm going to look through all those backs because I always need sterling backs. And sometimes they turn out to be gold backs. And that makes some nice scrap. Oh, this is a cute piece. This one's still, still packaged, true, lead compliant. It's got an antiqued look. It's very heavy. It's got DNA hair on it. I have to wash my hands. Scrub those hands. Oh, that is so pretty, though. Look at that. And look at the other side. That's amazing. I like that rust color. Very, very nice. Right? You, you've got a, a good thought there, Miss Carla, for sure, because they they get lost so quickly. And I hate, you know, to, if I were to ever sell earrings, to not have the backs to them. And I feel the same way about the sterling, but sometimes that's what I have to do. This is pretty. Love turquoise color, genuine turquoise. Either one, it all works for me. Love it. That is so pretty. It's got rondelles through there as spacers. Very nice. Kind of an antiqued chain too. Maybe not purposely, it may be worn. I believe so. That'll have to go on a crafter. That's very, very nice to waste. Okay, and then this is a bracelet. That's cute. Nice stretch still left on that gold. It kind of reminds me of something Kendra. We did find a Kendra as well. We found a Kendra Scott necklace with a hot pink stone on it. Really cool. Here's a nice little imitation of something. It's actually cold too. It's probably some kind of dyed stone. Nice long chain on this one too. It's pretty. 
very cool. Gold chain on that. That's cool. Oh, we found this sterling ring that's interchangeable. Look, and you can play. You can fidget. I don't know. I don't think I found any other little beads that would pop in there, but we'll look. We'll look and see. Okay, let's get through the rest of this that's intact. And then I'll look through the bottom. These are some plastic beads. Oh, we found a lot of origami. Nice heart. Probably put that in the child's too. Making a child's lot for fun. Here's a little heart. Lock it. Oh, it's got grandma and grandpa in it. Look at that. But look. Yeah, they're still in there. Oh my goodness. Sweet. Very sweet. Yes, jewelry is fun when you can fidget with it too. Look at that. Little pearl. Pin back. Angel. There was another sterling earring and we didn't get the match on it. We got the sterling snake. Lots of coral pieces in here. Let me pour this out already and see if nothing else pops out of it. It's like a watch is in here too. Again, $65.99. So, wow. Worth it though because I found that sterling silver James Avery necklace. So right off the bat, that's more than $69. Some kind of watch. And the rest of it is gravy. Gravy on those taters. All right, here we go. This is pretty. That's a pretty piece. I like that. Very cool. I like that it's not uh, like the real illusion. It's more like a metal, like that tiger tail metal. Uh, metal coated wire that you can craft with. There's another earring, more beads. The native piece did not show up yet, guys, but I am not losing faith yet because I think I'm going to find it in the other jar. I'm going to pray on it. I'm going to hope and pray and wish and all that. And if not, it's just a gorgeous piece. It really, really is. Maybe we could turn it into a ring or something one day. Someone could add a bandit back there and turn it into a ring. I have found a very reputable organization that works on Native American pieces. And, uh, oh, look, this is like a little worry, worry stone, right? Talk about fidgeting, because look, your thumb fits right in there. And uh, I think they might be able to turn that into a ring if I don't find the other one. But I still have two bags that my husband bought today from that place. And uh, I'm going to hope they're in there. <laughs> you never know. Sometimes it takes a while. We actually took, what, about two, three months to pair up some Kendra Scott earrings, but we did. And luckily he remembered that he had seen it upstairs when it popped out of another jar like two months later. This is sign. Let's see what it says. So you never know. Made in Korea. I don't think it's sterling, but it is a cute little thing. What is this? An earring, I think. And a lot of little pieces here. Glass pieces. Here's a little service pin or something. Sometimes these are gold. I have to look at those too. And let me see. This looks like a sterling earring. I think that's it, guys. I think we did okay with this very expensive jar. Thank you so much for coming in. We will do another one. I did record one for you. It'll go up probably Monday. But join me tomorrow. I'm going to do a thrift with me. I don't want to go to the bins right now. I'm not into it. <laughs> I, I see people wearing masks even without the threat of a crazy virus. So I'm staying away for now. But I am going to go to some other fabulous thrift stores, including one where I have a 50 off coupon for tomorrow. So join me then and I'll see you soon. I hope that you're part of my auction group. If you're not, all the information is usually down below in this description box. It is over on Facebook. It is every Saturday 
at 5 p.m. Central when God's willing, I will be there. And I thank you so much for spending time with me. Bye-bye.